Are you struggling to use this thing when you're playing guitar? Well, today I'm going to give you three exercises, see what I did there, hmm? that are going to help you with that, and welcome to Music with Marky. This lesson is for my beginner buddies out there, but it can really apply to a player of any level if you're struggling with or frustrated with using your pinky more and having strength in it and feeling comfortable when you're playing using your pinky. And today what I'm going to do is give you three really useful exercises that are going to get you very comfortable and strong in that area in about a month's time. Before we dive in, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. I do at least two videos per week, and I'm doing lessons for beginners like this, and I'm doing rut busters and gear reviews and analysis of famous solos and even the occasional original song. Exercise number one, this is the most basic of them, and it shouldn't take too long to get down, and you want to do this like three or four times a day, not more than about five minutes each time. And it also helps if you go to like Google Metronome, set it to like 100 or something so you can play it in time. I'm just going to do it free time here. And this is a basic slow trill hammer on pull off exercise. We'll start on the fifth fret. You're just going to go from your first finger to your pinky, then your second finger to your pinky, then your third finger to your pinky. So it'll be something like this. Very simple but you do it enough times and it really builds that strength now keep in mind here if you're a beginner you may have some trouble getting tone out of this especially with your pinky and a lot of that has to do with the moment when you pull off the hammer on is not the hardest part you get that you get that tone there once you build some strength but getting the sound when you pull off of the string is because you have to roll the string off of your finger and get a little bit of a snap you can't just lift if you just lift it gets weak you get that tone by snapping off and having the finger almost kind of flick off of, or having the string, excuse me, almost flick off of your finger. So make sure you're doing that if you're having problems with tone. Exercise number two. This one is going to feel seriously uncomfortable, especially if you've been playing a while and you haven't been using your pinky a lot. It's going to be real unusual and uncomfortable for you, but that's the whole point. That's why you're avoiding using your pinky, because it's been uncomfortable in the first place, and you have to get to using it to get to the point where it is comfortable. It's time to have that uncomfortable conversation with your pinky. Look, Pinky, when the boy bird loves the girl bird and they get together to make an egg. Here we're going to play a basic pentatonic scale just using your second finger and your pinky. We'll stay with A. So it's just this, the A pentatonic. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. That last stretch is very difficult. Once you get used to it, try to be a little musical with it too. Gonna be hard to really make music that way but the more you do it the more comfortable you'll get and the more strength you build in your pinky and when you do have to use it in context it's going to be a lot easier and exercise number three this one is going to build up some serious strength you're going to be able to use your first finger again but we're going to go from in the pentatonic scale again from the fourth string up to the first doing bends each time we get to our pinky <laughs> notice there when I do the bends like you do with any kind of bend I do incorporate all of my fingers or whatever I have available to me so when I bend with my pinky it's not just my pinky alone I've got all the fingers here pulling mostly these three here all working together you're not going to get most of your bends to sound good if you don't incorporate all of what's available to you as far as free fingers when you're doing the bend so there you have it you're probably feeling it a little bit by now but after a few weeks of this your pinky's going to be jacked I'm the one who's gonna be on TV looking all buff. Hopefully you found this lesson useful and you get some mileage out of it and by the end of it, you're feeling real good about using your pinky anywhere on the neck in any part of your scale. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I get back to everybody as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.